What's good, Steeler Nation? Happy Super Bowl Sunday to you. It's going to be a great game between the Chiefs and Eagles. I'm super excited to watch the championship matchup today, but we got some great Steelers news and rumors to cover today here on Super Bowl Sunday. First, we're going to talk about Mitchell Trubisky. Uh, there's some drama going around. There's some uh, fake narratives going around. There's some reports that he might be coming back and the Steelers want him to come back. We'll be breaking all that down here on the show in just a second. And then Cam Sutton, his contract is set to expire or void next Friday. So uh, we're going to be talking about why the Steelers need to resign him ASAP. And then TJ Watt went on the Pat McAfee show over the weekend and said that the time is now for the Pittsburgh Steelers to start winning and competing for Super Bowls. We're going to break it all down in just a second. But before we get into it today, go ahead and like this video to help out the channel here. If you like the content here on, on, the, on, the, on the channel here, go ahead and click that like button at the beginning of every time that you watch a video here because it helps it helps the YouTube algorithm find other Steelers people that might like our show, tells the algorithm that you guys are enjoying the show, and that it should push this content out to other Steelers fans. So if you want to help out the channel here, already subscribed, go ahead and like the video so, so it can help out that algorithm, get this video out to as many Steelers fans as possible. All right, so now let's talk a little bit about Mitchell Trubisky. And there is a report that the Steelers want to bring Mitchell Trubisky back. Dov Kleiman uh, and Jeremy Fowler broke the news from ESPN in a tweet here, which says the, ha the Steelers would like to keep QB Mitchell Trubisky on the team next season. According to Jeremy Fowler, ESPN, Trubisky's cap hit for 2023 is $10.6 million. So should the Steelers bring back Mitchell Trubisky? Uh, I mean, he is a pretty darn good backup. Up, right if Kenny Pickett God forbid got hurt Mitchell Trubisky is a very solid backup he was the 16th highest uh, graded quarterback in the National Football League actually last year at 76.6 according to Pro Football Focus uh, but the big thing for him is that his cap hit it's pretty big for a backup quarterback 10.625 million dollars he is he is he is expected to take up next year in terms of cap and uh, but the thing is the Steelers could sign him to an extension maybe add on another two years make that cap hit a bit lower and I think that's what the Steelers want to do, but I think it's going to be up to Mitch what he wants to do, right? If he wants to sign that extension, maybe maybe move that uh, that cap hit number down to like six or seven million per year for like the next three years, be and, and be cemented as the backup for Kenny Pickett over for the foreseeable future. Then he'll do that. But if he kind of sees him more uh, sees himself more as a starter, he doesn't really want to lock down three years of being a backup. Then he might refuse, and the Steelers might. Let let him go. Let me know in the comments section right now what the Steelers should do with Mitch Trubisky this offseason. Should he be? A, is he going to be a Steeler in 2023? Type Y if you think yes, or type N if you think no. This is the pinned comment on today's video. So whenever you get an ad break here on the show, go ahead and go into the comment section, find that pinned comment. It'll be right there at the top and answer today's question. All right, so there's some more Mitchell Trubisky drama going around over the weekend where there was a report that started to resurface here that Deontay Johnson punched Mitchell Trubisky in the face before their Week 4 matchup against the Jets. Of course, that was the game that Mitchell Trubisky was replaced by Kenny Pickett in. This was the original report here by MLF Football, who tweeted out Pittsburgh Steelers wide receiver Deontay Johnson punched starting QB Mitchell Trubisky in the face because he was not getting the ball enough before their week four matchup versus the Jets. Uh, uh, this was also part of the reason Trubisky was benched for rookie Kenny Pickett. And Deontay Johnson and Mitchell Trubisky were both quick to call this fake news. That's exactly what Deontay Johnson said in his tweet. He, re he quote tweeted it and said that this is fake news. This didn't happen. And the Mitchell Trubisky did the same thing, putting out just a couple hours later that there is zero truth to this. So there's a, so everyone is kind of wondering, how did this rumor start? How did this get out there? And it turns out that it was Andrew Filipponi, a big time Steelers name out there in Steelers Twitter, radio host, and he took 100% of the blame for it. This is what he had to say over the weekend. I take 100% uh, blame and responsibility for what happened here. I take the blame because I think the way that I said it to him mischaracterized the altercation. Looking back on it, I definitely made it sound a lot worse than it was, and that's on me. So, obviously, Filipponi's kind of a clown, guys. We all understand this. If you follow Steelers Twitter, he says some really ridiculous stuff. Like, he's, he's already comparing Kenny Pickett and, and George Pickens to, to Joe Montana and, and uh, Jerry Rice. I mean, like, this guy has some really out-there takes 
But at the end of the day, guys, he, he did he did uh, uh, fess up to it. He did say that he was sorry. So apology accepted. But at the end of the day, like, uh, I think that there's no truth to this. Obviously, that there's this this has been debunked. Like, obviously, Deontay Johnson did not punch Mitchell Trubisky. Okay, that did not happen. But was there an altercation? Did they have a a, a bit of a exchange of words. I think that probably actually did happen. I think Deontay was very upset in the beginning of the season with Mitch, uh, and I think he had his frustrations. I think those uh, reports have credence, but the fact that it got physical just definitely did not happen. All right, guys, go ahead and subscribe to the channel right now. If you if if you really want, if you love the black and if you love the black and gold, you love the Pittsburgh Steelers, and you want Steelers news and rumors videos every day of this offseason, you want to stay up to date on all the latest that's going around uh, the Steelers, uh, the Steelers front office, the moves that they're making. Also, we have weekly live shows every Thursday at 4 p.m. Eastern. So if you want it, the most interactive live show that there is out there on Steelers YouTube, go ahead and subscribe to the channel, uh, and then also. So more subscribers means more Steelers videos, guys. The, the way that this works, Chat Sports is a business, right? So if we're if if more more subscribers means more money, more money means more videos, uh, because this is where the money's going. And then also it's 100% free, guys. It costs you absolutely nothing to click that subscribe button. So if you want to join our family of Yinzers and stay up to date on everything the Steelers are doing this off season, click that subscribe button right now. Now let's talk a little bit about Cam Sutton and his contract situation. Now Cam Sutton's the type of guy that most Steelers fans agree that the Steelers need to bring back this offseason. Here's the current situation. All right, his his contract is set to void on Friday of this week. And what that essentially means is that he's going to become an unrestricted free agent if the Steelers don't give him a new deal by Friday. And if they don't do that, the Steelers are taking on over $2 million in dead cap for the 2023 season, and Sutton goes hits the free agency market. And apparently multiple teams are interested in Sutton uh, in, the, in, the, in the free agency market. A couple of teams that have come up, Minnesota Vikings, Brian Flores is a DC there, knows what Cam Sutton can do. I'm sure the Vikings would be very interested in adding Sutton. And then also the Detroit Lions have been linked to Sutton as well. So in my opinion, guys, the Steelers need to get a deal done this week. They need to not leave anything to chance. And, you know, if you don't re-sign them, you're already paying $2.1 million on the cap anyway. So you might as well re-sign him. He was the best cornerback. Uh, on the Steelers roster last year, bar none, you you pay him, I, I mean, whatever he wants, right? If he wants $10 million per season, if he wants $11 million per season, I think if you're the Steelers, you probably have to pay that so you don't have to pay a higher price when he hits free agency. He's someone that had a really good year last year. He's going to make a pretty darn good contract coming up here. I don't want to take any chances, any risk in losing him. Plus, I don't want to pay that dead cap. I'd rather use that money to spend on a deal for Cam Sutton. So I I say Steelers get it done get it done by Friday no exceptions you got to bring him back he's too talented and too good to let walk all right, guys, before we go into the next segment here, let's have a word from our sponsor at BetUS, which is the official sportsbook partner here at Chat Sports. And they're offering you guys a fantastic deal right before the Super Bowl, a 125% deposit bonus. When you use promo code Steelers125 at chatsports.com slash bet. And right now, this is what the odds are looking like. Here for the Super Bowl, the Eagles are the favorite right now, but I, I, it's really close. It's just one point, and on paper, I think the Eagles should definitely win this football game. But there's, a, I have a creeping suspicion, guys, that Patrick Mahomes is going to give us a, a performance for the ages tonight that's going to live in NFL history. History is going to be made tonight. I'm super excited to see what's going to go, what's going to happen. I'm going to be betting on the Chiefs, but you can use uh, promo code Steelers125 at chatsports.com slash bet to get that 125 deposit bonus just before the Super Bowl. Next segment here and the last segment is that TJ Watt went on the Pat McAfee show this week and said that the time is now for the Steelers to start winning and that he's ready. He's, he's at the point in his career where he wants to win. This is what he had to say. I want to win. I want to do whatever it takes to win. I feel like we have a really good team here. We have we have good young talent. The time is now for us and I feel like we can put it together. So here's what I think needs to happen if the Steelers are going to be Super Bowl contenders in the future, whether it be next year, whether it be a couple years down the line. 
these, th these are the things I think need to happen. Number one, Kenny Pickett needs to take a leap, right? This year, he wasn't a Super Bowl caliber quarterback, in my opinion. He showed uh, a lot of progression. He showed some really great stuff towards the end of the season, particularly in the clutch. And if he takes that year two leap that we've seen from guys like Patrick Mahomes, Lamar Jackson, Joe Burrow, Guys like that, if Kenny Pickett can make a leap like that and establish himself as a legitimate QB1 in the National Football League, a legitimate franchise quarterback, that's going to be great for the Steelers franchise. Number two, the defense has to be elite. I don't think Kenny Pickett is the type of game wrecker like a Patrick Mahomes or Lamar Jackson or Josh Allen. You have to put a good defense around him and a good roster. Part of that's defense. Defense was fantastic at the end of 2022. So I think, it, you know, you put you make a couple of additions. Maybe you draft a cornerback. You bring back Cam Sutton. Bring the band back together. I think this defense is going to be really, really good in 2022. 2023. And then Matt Canada's offense needs to evolve. Pat Frymuth said a couple weeks ago that they don't even have hot routes. Hot routes in their freaking offense, man. Like seriously, you got you got to give Kenny Pickett more freedom at the line of scrimmage. You got to be able to call audibles, hots, all these different stuff. And you, I think Canada needs to incorporate more of these new school concepts like crossing routes into his offense. There's way too many stop routes. There's way too many old old school kind of concepts that just don't work in the National Football League anymore. I think that he needs to evolve, and I think to do that, the Steelers need to hire a senior offensive assistant that can help him on that process. Then finally, the run game must be effective. It has to be effective, guys. Uh, I think that with Kenny Pickett, like I said before, he needs a good defense, and he needs a team that can run the football. And of course, in the AFC North, it gets cold. Really, the teams that can run the football really, really well and the teams that can control the line of scrimmage, those are the teams that end up doing well in the AFC North. So I think the run game needs to be effective if you are the – we, we have a picture of T.J. Watt. That's supposed to be Najee Harris. That's my bad, guys. But uh, the run game, Najee Harris, Jalen Warren, you got the pieces there. Hopefully they can put it all together and be a top 10 unit in 2023. So could the Steelers be aggressive this offseason, right? If, if, if T.J. Watt is to be believed, right, the Steelers are right there and they just need to make a couple of moves to really put themselves in position to compete in the AFC. And, you know, they could make a couple moves. They could cut a couple of those big contracts and try to go try and go and get a really big uh, star player like a Jalen Ramsey or a Deron Payne or somebody. They could, they could try to... to Get a big player, Tremaine Edmonds, that inside linebacker. They could make a big move like that, but I'm not so sure that Omar Khan and Mike Tomlin are going to want to do that. But let me know in the comments what you think they're going to do this offseason. Should the Steelers push their chips in this offseason and be aggressive in 2023? Type HY if you think hell yes, or type HN if you think uh, H, if you think hell no. My bad, guys. All right, guys, that's going to do it for today's show. I appreciate you, Yinzers. Enjoy the Super Bowl tonight, and until tomorrow, peace.